नमस्ते वेलकम टू एजुकेट नेचुरली चैनल एंड टुडे आई विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट द लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट एंड अंडर द लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट थ्री थिंग्स आई हैव ब्रॉड टू यू दैट आई विल बी डीलिंग विद द लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट चैप्टर फर्स्ट इज फैक्टर एफेक्टिंग लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट इन बैंक सेकेंड इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर द लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट इन बैंक एंड थर्ड इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिक्विटी मैनेजमेंट Now let's start with the liquidity management. What is liquidity management? Liquidity refers to the bank ability to its to meet its obligation as they become due. Liquidity management includes the ability of matching the liabilities with the asset of banks. Banks should have an adequate system for measuring, monitoring, and controlling liquidity risks. From this definition, we can clearly understand that liquidity means matching the maturity of asset and liabilities so that you can have a sufficient liquidity to do the daily activities and this is not only the issue the bank should also have adequate system for measuring monitoring and control, controlling liquidity risks means various types of liquidity risks may arise in the bank and that need to be a systematically arranged in order to perform day to day activities in a smooth and smooth effective way and major objective of liquidity management is to ensure that the bank has a sufficient fund to meet its its con contractual and regulatory financial obligation means day to day activities and regulatory obligation uh, to be fulfilled is a main objective of liquidity management and there are three types of risks in liquidity under the liquidity first is funding risks which depend upon the perception of the market and credit standing of the bank how well is credit standing of bank and what is the perception of market that's that's will result on funding risks that will give the bank whether it will arise the situation of funding risks or not likewise asset liquidity risks arise when the maturity of asset exceed those of liabilities means when the maturity of asset is high than the liabilities then that will result in asset liquidity risk and final is interest rate risk interest rate mix means arise due to the mismatch of duration of interest duration of duration of time probably long duration of asset decline more than the short duration of asset and asset sell could involve loss so interest rate risk means what you are gaining under the asset for the short duration and what you are paying from the liabilities for the short duration that duration should be match well so that that will not result in interest rate risk factor affecting liquidity management in banks there are number of factors which affect the liquidity in banks but uh, some of the factor which are in common in practice so i have presented here to all the viewers and first is statutory requirement which is the requirement of nrb such as crr cash reserve ratio slr statutory liquidity ratio under this bank have to Uh, maintain their liquidity so ultimately this will affect in day to day liquidity of the banks uh, banking habit of the people if the banking habit of people depend more on the cash transaction that will ultimately result in liquidity issue monetary transaction higher monetary transaction higher liquidity demand will arise likewise over extension of credit is credit if the credit is extended in a uh, huge huge scale then that will ultimately affect in day to day liquidity higher level of npa if the npa non performing loan increases then that will autom automatically decrease in liquidity position of any bank or organization like which lack of appropriate liquidity policy if the liquidity policy is not well then that will ultimately also result in difficulty of managing liquidity poor asset quality means it's it, it will result in liquidity issue because it's 
it will be unable or difficult to sell the asset due to which the enough liquidity is lacking. Reliance on the few wholesale depositor. If the bank rely on the few wholesale depositor, then if they withdraw the money, then that will also result in liquidity issue. Deposit concentration. Deposit should be concentration means it should be focused in various area, not only the single asset. So that will not result in liquidity issue. Decline earning. If the earning decline, automatically it will decrease in liquidity fund. Important points for liquidity management in banks. Formulating liquidity policy and framework. If the bank formulate good liquidity policy and framework that will support in operational efficiency and will result in higher liquidity. Determining sufficient capital. If your organization or bank have a sufficient capital means that will able to meet various able to meet various type of risks and will result in sufficient liquidity. Improving cash forecasting. If you have well cash forecasting technique that will effectively manage your liquidity that is no doubt. Identifying liquidity. Identifying well liquidity means you have a good liquidity policy or liquidity uh, you have good liquidity policy or your, you can easily deal with the daily liquidity which involve determining the balance and position of institution and inter enterprise wide level. Managing liquidity involves supporting liquidity for revenue generating activities. Evaluate financial market. If you will evaluate financial market, then you can easily find out the various types of risks and under the risks if you mitigate that risks, then your liquidity position will be strong. Establish clear line of reporting. If you have well line of reporting means you can solve 50 percent of liquidity issue under that reporting strategy. More slight under the liquidity management includes establish strong internal control. If you have well strong, strong enough internal control that means you can easily uh, trace out the liquidity position and you can easily solve the liquidity issue. Establish strong management information. If you have well effective communication channel that will help in liquidity management. Strong compliance, good compliance result in good, good organization, good organization result in good liquidity position. Likewise, focusing on the act, law, regulation and internal policy will automatically help to solve the liquidity issue under any organization or any banks or any company. Regular review of policy. You need to have timely time to time update of policy so that you can easily trace out the difficulty coming on the various situation. Uh, use usage tool of liquidity management. Some of the tools that are used in liquidity management include ratio ratio approach under which CRR, SLR, liquidity profile refer to the classification of total asset and total liability into the different time interval. Means you need to classify so that you can trace out the liquidity issue or you can analyze the liquidity requirement. Stress testing and monitoring assess the shock effect of on capital adequacy ratio, profitability position and credit portfolio. Now, final slide under the liquidity management include the principle. So, there are the five principle. Number one is bank must develop a structure for the liquidity management. Well structure need to be developed. Well structure means you can well, well organization. Well organization means everything can be trace out into the right time at a right solution which will automatically help to solve the liquidity issue or any other issue that uh, will be coming in your organization or any fin financial institution. Being must require uh, measure and monitor net funding requirement. This need to be monitored so that you can assess the liquidity requirement. Uh, being should manage the market risks, market assess. Being should also manage the market assess what is the condition of market so that you can also 
uh, gain some information from that. Uh, banks should have contingency plan for the handling the liquidity crisis. So, banks should have also develop the strategy. Uh, likewise, banks should manage their foreign currency liabilities. Banks should have a me measuring, monitoring, controlling for the liquidity position. So, this all are the principle regarding the liquidity management. So, this much under the liquidity management topic and every viewers I like to request you to subscribe the channel educate naturally so that you will be gaining more knowledge in the coming days which will directly helpful in your organ in your organization uh, for the in your organization where you are working as a job holder or student which can also increase knowledge uh, under their subject matter or you are uh, or other students who are preparing for the career in the job can also be a benefited under the Educate Nature channel. So, thank you everyone. Please subscribe the channel.